Hey everyone, and welcome back to the NREMT Paramedic Exam Prep Show. These 30 practice questions cover a selection of content on airway, respiration, and ventilation. For hundreds of more questions like these, make sure you continue studying with Brainscape's NREMT Paramedic flashcards. Okay, let's get started. Question one, what are the six airway structures of the upper airway? Nasopharynx, pharynx, oropharynx, mouth, epiglottis, and larynx. Question two. When manipulating the airway during a head tilt chin lift, what anatomical structure are you manipulating to displace the tongue and epiglottis? The hyoid bone. Question three. What is the parietal pleura? The thin membrane that lines the inside of the thoracic cavity. Question four, what are the accessory muscles? The secondary muscles of breathing, which include the sternocleidomastoid and trapezius muscles of the neck. Question five, what is the normal tidal volume in an adult? Five to seven milliliters per kilogram. Question six, what does a shift to the right of the oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve cause? It causes hemoglobin to give up oxygen faster. Possible causes for this include acidosis, increased carbon dioxide, and hyperthermia. Question seven, what is the dominant cause of respiratory acidosis and what nine factors can lead to its development? The dominant cause is hypoventilation, which in turn can be caused by respiratory distress or failure, trauma, damaged lungs, CNS depression, opiate overdose, bradypnea, congestive heart failure, head injury, or carbon monoxide poisoning. Question eight, what is the normal respiratory rate of infants? 25 to 50 breaths per minute. Question nine, what are the three causes of pulsus paradoxus? Pericardial tamponade, severe chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or tension pneumothorax, all of which have the effect of increasing intrathoracic pressure. Question 10. What do chain Stokes respirations indicate? Brainstem insult. Let's take a quick study break to remind you to sit up straight while you're listening to this. Remember, life in the field as a paramedic can be quite punishing, so it's important you develop a habit for keeping a straight, strong posture. Your back will thank you. Now, back to the questions. Question 11, what are raunchy? Raunchy are profuse crackles throughout the larger, lower airways, which makes them worse than just crackles. Question 12, what are the five possible causes of erroneous pulse oximeter or SpO2 readings? Bright light, patient movement, poor perfusion, nail polish, and abnormal hemoglobin. Question 13, what four steps are required for the jaw thrust maneuver? One, place yourself at the patient's head. Two, place your thumbs on the zygomatic arch, three, hook your fingers under the angle of the mandible, and four, pull the jaw upward. Question 14, what are the maximum times allowed to suction for adults, children, and infants respectively? 15 seconds for adults, 10 seconds for children, five seconds for infants. Question 15, what are the four steps for inserting an OPA or oropharyngeal airway? One, measure appropriately. Two, open the patient's mouth with the cross finger technique. Three, insert the OPA with the tip at the roof of the mouth. And four, rotate the OPA 180 degrees, flipping it over the tongue. Question 16, what do you do if your choking patient becomes unresponsive? You lay the patient down and begin chest compressions. After 30 compressions, look in the mouth. If you can see the obstruction, attempt to remove it. Question 17. 
What is the flow rate and oxygen delivered by a nasal cannula? The flow rate is 1 to 6 liters per minute at 24 to 44% oxygen. Question 18. When assessing a difficult airway, what does the mnemonic LEMON stand for? Look, evaluate 3 to 3 2, Malampati, obstruction, neck mobility. Question 19. What three sedatives are used in rapid sequence intubation or RSI? Valium, Ativan, or Versed, ketamine, and Atomidate. Question 20. What is Guillain-Barre syndrome? A syndrome characterized by progressive muscle weakness and paralysis that moves from the feet to the head. If you're loving the challenge I've set you with these practice questions, you'll find hundreds more with illustrations in Brainscape's adaptive mobile flashcards for the NREMT paramedic exam. Make sure you download those so that you can efficiently study anytime and anywhere, and you will crush the paramedic exam. Let's get back to answering more questions. Question 21. Serious injury to the spinal cord above which vertebrae may block the nerve impulses that stimulate breathing? The fifth cervical vertebra, or C5. Question 22. What is angioedema? Angioedema is a vascular reaction characterized by swelling of the eyes, lips, and mouth. Possible causes include the use of ACE inhibitors or an allergic reaction. Question 23. What is a pneumothorax? When air collects between the visceral and parietal pleura, resulting in a collapsed lung. Question 24. What are three treatments for asthma? 1. Aerosol bronchodilators, like albuterol, 2. Mucolytics, like atrovent, and 3. Corticosteroids, like methylprednisolone. Question 25. What are the five steps to remove a foreign body airway obstruction in a young child? 1. Hold the child face down along your forearm. 2. Support the head and face with your hand. 3. Deliver five back blows. 4. Switch the child to upright and deliver five chest thrusts with two fingers, and five, check the airway. Question 26. What are four assessment findings for epiglottitis? One, sitting upright in sniffing position. Two, drooling. Three, strider. Four, muffled voice. Question 27. What is the mechanism of action for diphenhydramine? It's an H1 histamine antagonist that decreases inflammatory response. Question 28. What are the three airway indications for epinephrine? Anaphylaxis, asthma, and allergic reaction. Question 29. What is the adult and pediatric dose of atrovent? Adults, 250 to 500 micrograms. Pediatric patients, 250 micrograms. Question 30. What are the two indications for terbutaline? Asthma and COPD. That concludes your study session on airway, respiration, and ventilation. To reach full mastery, remember to study using Brainscape. Our mobile and web app utilizes the latest in spaced repetition techniques, allowing you to optimize your study time and track your progress in great detail. Of course, when you're driving, cooking, exercising, or otherwise unable to navigate the app, be sure to keep listening to the rest of this hands-free studying playlist. No matter what subject you're learning or what method you're using, Brainscape helps you rise to your challenge.